Hola. Okay. Hila, the idea is to create uh, two different uh, classes for analyze root files. So what I will uh, present is a uh, different method to create a very very simple analysis into different root files that they have here. So one is called tracker tree, and the, it's essentially information coming from the the cosmic ray uh, station in Naples. And the second one is the Monte Carlo sample from the um, physics analysis. So starting from the beginning, I will try to go more or less fast, but uh, the idea is that this uh, recording can be used several times if you have uh, any any doubt later. So what we'll do is essentially source my root, my local root. I have it here on the atlas. Okay, this is uh, the last version of the root file, you can see it here. And now we'll go where the, the samples are. I have this sample saved it inside public examples root. So these are the two samples that I mentioned, tracker tree, that root, and LLQQ nucleon fusion samples, root files too. Let's see first what is inside the sample because it uh, will be easier to understand when we start to do histograms and so on. So the way to browse the files is calling an object that is called dbrowser in root. So this is essentially a window that allows you to see what is inside the root file. So here you see that I have tracker and if you click twice you can see the internal configuration. We have a root tree in tracker tree. This is the root the tree that we will use for create the, the, the first macro. And inside the LQQ file, we have two tree. We will use the tree called tree to create the second macro. So if we just take a fast view what is inside tracker, you will see that there are six variables here. And so not a variable like this one, for example, go from zero to nine so and this one for example from zero to four thousand and even more and this will be important later for the second file you see that the tree tree have a much more variable more than 100 but the many of these variables are very intuitive for example the number of jets so this is a, a more physics kind end tuple but again will be useful for the example we have another nice variable like the invariant mass of two leptons. You see here a very nice peak in 90 AGB for the C bosom. Again, this is a Monte Carlo sign. So, so coming back to the terminal, close using that queue. We will create, we will use again the first root file, the tracker root, to create the first analysis. So if you do, we do root minus L space minus L tracker, what we do is open the file directly, and we call it here, and it's ready to be uh, used. So for example, if you do that ls, you can see exactly what we saw in the T browser, the tree called tracker and the six different histogram. So we will use the tree tracker again. This will be the our guide to generate automatically. Uh, a C++ class using a function that is called make class. If you use tab, you can see other options here. So I will use make class, where I use I will try reader tracker for example. This will be the name of my of my code. So when I have it here, when you execute this. Uh, this common what we'll get is a uh, two files, one is reader tracker.h and reader tracker.c that have been generated using the, the tree tracker. So we will go out and I will show you that this if we will clean here. And you see the new files here, reader tracker.h and reader tracker.c. And you can see it here in the folder too. 
So from here we will open it and we'll use Emacs for the addition of these two files. So again we have two C files, the header, I can call this, the header and the where the we will really do write the analysis in that C the class. So what without going into too much in detail, just that you can see here that we have the six variables, but the three. None of the variables are flat in the sense that there are one single value for each of the events. Other variables are vectors, one dimensional vector in this case with uh, eight uh, position, let's say 98 position here. And in the dot C, we have a simple method that is called loop. Essentially what we do is a loop into the, all the entries, into all the events in, in the input file and do the analysis here. So here is the four, very, very easy to identify. It is inside this for is where we essentially do the analysis. So what we'll do is to create a couple of histograms where we create the histogram, fill the histogram, draw the histogram, and finally save it into a, an output root file. So the way to create the histogram is, for example, you can use the TH1F, that is a one-dimensional histogram that we will fill with values of kind float. So histo1, again, a kind of histogram, it's not the only one, but uh, this is the histogram that we will use. The name of the histogram, the second parameter will be the title of the histogram. The three parameter is the number of being, the second is the first value, and the last one is the last value, let's say. So you remember that the, inside the tree we have a variable that goes from 0 for 4,000. This is the value I will plot. I will create a second histogram. Let me just copy and paste this, changing the name. In this case, to 2, we will less, less value from 0 to 9. That is another of the variables that we saw inside. And we will always save it, please. Um, so inside the loop, is where we will fill this, this histogram. The method to fill it is very easy. Just fill, it's called fill, capital. And in this first histogram, that is a histogram that goes for until 4000, if you will remember, it's this variable in the left, it's TS synth. So I will just copy and paste this variable. Remember that this is a, a vector variable. So for simplification, we'll just take one of the the position in that vector is position zero. And in C, the first position starts in zero. For the histogram two, it's simpler because this was a, a this variable that is you see is not a vector variable, but it's a flat variable. So we fill the second histogram with that variable. So all inside again inside the four. Okay. So outside the four, we can do the draw of the histogram. We can draw one to see this draw can be useful, for example, to see in real time if we are doing something well or not. And we can save at the end in a, in a not the root file that this could be more more important. So the way to create a file, we can just call file out tracker, for example, out tracker and we use the same name for the output file. So this is a root file, of course, and we can use the function, uh, the option, recreate. Recreate, what it does is that if he, the file is already exists, it will just overwrite the old file for the new one. Okay, so now that we create the file, we can just write the file write this term inside. So again fill this draw the histo. Here we are filling the histo the grams completely. And here we are saving the histograms. 
and that would fly. Okay. So the method of to save is called write. You just call the function write the method write. So this will essentially save any in any of the storm that we want to save into the root file that we could call and create before. And finally we close the root file the, the root file, yes. And this is done by close. So whatever you put between these two lines, the creation and the close of the file will be safe. It can be safe using uh, write, not just for the history but Canva for example. Okay, so once we save all this, we can come back to the sorry, let me show you just before. But this automatic creation give you another um, help here. You can see in the comments that uh, they explain you how to use the, the class. So if you say in a root section you can load the class, you can create an object of that class and to that object you can apply the different methods. In this case the important method will be loop. So let's do exactly this here. If you open a root session that L read the tracker, so we are down in loading the, the class, so we can read the tracker, creating an object, in this case L, and if we call loop, you can see now that finish, and we have the, the output tracker, but just come back here, let's um, See that I, I should draw hit oh, instead of fill. Sorry, I never change this. So now uh, we will see part of the output will be a canvas with the uh, histogram inside. So let's just do it again. Root. So we load the class. We can we create an object and we apply the method. Now you see we have a, a canvas which is essentially with the title that we decided, the number of entries and different values. The other thing that we can of course check is the root file that we create. The name was just one second, out tracker. Out tracker. If you see what is inside, there is two histograms with the title that we decided. And you can again use multi browser to look inside. And these are the it's already saved so of course we can apply here before to fill any any cut here in the variables or any other con condition if or for that we select the events that we really want so this is the first method the second method called make class so now we will create a second method and let me just close this files you see we have again the tracker tree the LLQQ analysis uh, root file the reader tracker and the output of the reader tracker so now we will use the second um, root file to see the other method to create an analysis this other method could be look a little bit more complex but uh, it's better for when we start to analyze large amount of, of, of samples or samples that are really, really big. So we can do exactly the same, root minus L. Now let me just maybe clean and come back to the beginning, here in the top of the terminal. Root minus L, LLQQ Monte Carlo. So well, again, we have ready the samples to be uh, useful. So if you do that, LS, you can see what is inside. Different histograms, in this case the histogram type D, which is not really important, let's say, but just to say that there are more than one version of uh, histogram that you can define. But the important thing here, we will use the tree tree, that is the complete analysis output tree. So this tree, instead of 
called make class we will call make selectors and do in this case let's do uh, physics physics analysis for example and this again will create two files physics.a and physics.c that will come from this internal structure of the tree tree in this case and again is these two files are are here inside the, the folder so we can come back and open it again I will use uh, MS for this Again, one file, the header file, what is inside is the definition of all the variables that we have inside the tree. Here, of course, the tree is much bigger, so you see that there are the, let's say the number of variables is, 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 lar is large. But in the, in, the output, in the other file, the file that C, we have a little bit more complex structure too, but uh, here again we will do a simple example. There are some comments of the different methods that are defined. So here there are more than one method. You see that one, two, three, four, five methods instead of just one, like the previous example. But the lines that you can use to, to run, for example, process physics.c on the tree that you want to, to read. So let's start. Uh, again, there are some methods here and some description, for example. Here's it a place where you can create your history. <coughs> so I will create two history of two here. In the, at the beginning, page one, the same class that I, I used before, is the one, like one, new, the edge one F. So I have the, the type, the name of the history, title, of the history, the number of pins, for example, and the the bin. I am choosing these numbers because I would like to plot the invariant mass of the two electrons that I showed before. In this this plot essentially usually go on to 200 GB, but the variable seems it's still inside in, in mega electron volts in MEP. It should be in this number. In a second history the number two and no, I will essentially create the same history with the same properties but applying a, a cut so it's a different way to, to see it okay so this the inclusion of the in, the in different history has to do in begin and after we have the method process that is essentially the process the method that will loop event by event how you see this this has no any uh, explicit form, but we know that this process will be applied for each of the entries that we have in, inside the tree. So the first thing that we should do is to um, apply a couple of extra lines, and I will. Um, Show you what is the extra line that we need. We need, for example, we need two extra lines that will help to read the entries of the that there are inside the into So the line is F chain get three because of course we are reading uh, a tree and inside the tree please get entry. Now we call the entry that is inside. So this is getting the entry each time of the tree. And the second line that I, I prefer to to include is this one. If this entry, so if F change we get entry is greater than zero, it's, uh, that means that it's not empty. We will do the analysis. And it's inside here where we do analysis. Okay. 
so we will include here the film as a history as I told you the f um, I will in this case create the same variable or the, the, the say two histogram using the same variable but for two different conditions so the histogram one will be filled just with the variable as it's, it's coming from the heading to part so I will use the lepton C and it's the variable mass of the two leptons but I will apply a condition for the second histogram and this is that the number of checks should be bigger than one to give you again an idea of how to apply a cut inside analysis here and we feel exactly the same in this case the histogram 2 okay but again so we need to get the entries be sure the entry is not empty I will fill the first histogram just with the variable as it's coming from the end to one. But the second time or the second histogram that I will create will fill the same variable but after a, an extra condition. So the number of checks should be bigger than one. Just again, for example, like an example. So at the end, this will look and fill the different histogram. And at the end, I would like to draw the histogram. So I have Histogram one, two, row. Okay, I will do the same. Histogram two, and I want it in the same canvas just to see the different, the different as they apply the cuts. First. And to see an extra difference, for example, we can set the the the, the color, the so different color. the line set line color in this case cap white for example and we can copy just this and put another color here for the second history okay we can do again something similar with respect to the saving this history in the sense that we create uh, an output p5 in this case, we can put physics output. Output physics out just to make sure. So physics out dot root, and again we use the option recreate. We save the two history. To take advantage of these two lines. Writing right and the second okay and finally we just close the output file okay so what we did is we define the histograms in the method begin to histograms we inside the method process get the entry and we fill the histogram with two different conditions let's say the first histogram without condition the second histogram with a cat analysis cat we finally do some makeup couple of color and we draw it into the same canvas to make the difference and finally we save the histogram in a, an output root file and sorry here the word should be no entry but entries and so coming back to the instruction, what we should do is to open the file according to the tree that we want to, to process and call the class uh, called physics.c. Coming here, we just need to open the root file and call the tree that we want, in this case, tree and process. Let's see. So this is very nice because you essentially don't need to change the code in case that you need to change the input as soon as the, the input has the same tree, let's say the same name, or oh, not the same name, but the same internal structure. So if you call this, 
sorry, let's click on so we get into this. And we have the the Canva. So essentially what we here again it's two histograms into the same Canva. The field when the non the the color red was that one without any cat and of course have a bigger number of entries while the histogram number two or the blue is shorter. You have both histograms into the same Canva. Let's check the output. Okay. Clean this. So the output is uh, called physics output. That root. Here we open this file and we check in a T browser. We can see that we have the two histograms even with the different colors. So we save here. So again, what you should do is is open the root file and call the tree process physics that see and this create the canvas so what we'll do is to put um, what we will do is to put all this that you can see here in a single tar file so you can download it and and play with this uh, the code will be already exactly as we leave it here in the in this tutorial. Bye.